Hi, okay, so today I'm going to extract some DNA out of an apple using some rubbing alcohol, uh, a plastic bag, a giant shot glass, and some contact solution, but I don't have it with me yet, but I will. So first, oh, and also some gauze so I can get the apple juice into the shot glass. This apple's kind of big, so... Oh, it's not here. Here is my guinea pig. I love him very much. And here's my brother's guinea pig. He's a little bit skinnier, but I love him too. Okay, so... First, I will use this plastic bag and I'll put this apple in it. Then I'm going to seal it and make sure there's no air. Okay, so now I'm going to squish the apple. Squish. Okay, so now I will put this contact solution into my bag of crushed apples so I can separate the cell membrane from the cytoplasm because it's made out of lipids and that's fat and soap gets rid of fat. Yeah, okay. Here I go. I'm just gonna put one or two drops in here so it doesn't get totally, yeah. Actually, I'll put like five drops. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Now, I'm gonna pound it again or like squish it and stuff. You ready? All right. So now I'm going to use this gauze and to put some of this apple juice into this Mexican shot glass. First I'm going to squeeze out the pulp and stuff onto here so then it can filter it in so it's not all like fruit meaty, you know. Okay, here I go. Oh, look, it's dripping. If you can see that. Yeah. I'm not really sure how much I need to use. Maybe almost a centimeter. I hope that's enough. Because this shot glass is pretty big. Alright. Okay. Uh, I think that looks good. Actually, eh, I, I think I need some more. Okay, so next I'm going to pour a few drops of rubbing alcohol in here so I can separate the DNA from the juice. Here's the juice. Just like a drop or two. Alright. I put in... I don't know if you can see how much I put in, but I put in about the same amount that there is for DNA. And I don't know if you can see it now, but 
the stuff is separating from the rubbing alcohol. Now I'm going to extract some DNA from here with this toothpick. I'm going to turn it slowly so I don't mix it up. I don't know if you can see it, but here it is. And I know it's not pulp because it's all stringy and stuff. Alright, there's the inside of it. I'll just take a picture.